If you want to start your own life coaching, understanding this principle will rapidly save you time and it will save you all the fear of whether you can get results with your client. That is the number one coaching fear that people worry about, whether they'll be able to get results with their clients. So in today's session, how to start a life coaching business the easy way, all right? First of all, you need to understand this process. You need to take your skills through an alpha, beta, version one, two, three, and four methodology. The alpha, beta method is this concept of like, you know, like your iPhone, right? Or if you have an iPhone or a Samsung, whatever you're using, your phone right now, the technology that you use has gone through this alpha testing phase, right? So you have to take your skills through a, through a phase of testing, all right? So the alpha phase specifically is when you're asking your parents, your friends, all right, you're practicing your techniques on them. Now, of course, the presupposition of this is that you've got certified, all right? You need to have some certified skills. You need to know what you're doing, all right? Coaches, coaching isn't just like you and your friends having a chat down the pub. It's not just like, you know, like, you know, just random conversation. It's artfully understanding how someone language their reality in order for you to understand the constructs of those, you know, those specific language, you know, um, models, let's say with that, the specific models that they use that creates those realities. So you have to understand communication on a deep level. So you have to get certified. I'm not here to say that you can just do this on a whim. I know lots of people are intuitive and they're more spiritually based and they feel that they're more connected to those things. But let me tell you, I've trained in every sort of coaching skill possible. And each time that you upgrade that, you'll be able to get you know quicker results with your clients because you understand you know, how language dictates their reality. And once you can understand that, then you can create new realities for someone if that reality isn't serving them. And so, of course, I do a whole methodology, you know, in coaching so that you can be an expert coach. It's called the Expert Coach Journey. If you ever wanna, you know, understand more information about that, what I recommend is actually just joining the group, which is free, and coming and hanging out there, learning some coaching techniques. But again, like you need to be certified so that you can be qualified and so that again, that you are, you know, your insurance backs up and because you are you're dealing with someone's life. So that's important that you are fully, you know, you know, recognized as someone that's that's done the time, right? You need to be able to put the time in first, right? And of course, you also need a result yourself. You need to, have, you know, physically transform something, all right? There's no point if you, you can't teach someone how to be wealthy if you haven't got any money. It doesn't work like that, right? And I know there's lots of people today's market that will probably say you can, but you can't, all right? It's just tr that's the, the God's honest truth, all right? If you've earned nothing, how are you gonna teach someone else how to earn something? It's like, with, with total respect, you can't be a fat personal trainer. And I was a trainer for a long time, but no one's gonna come to you. There's a certain level that they will get from that. It's no judgment on it. Right, you can be 15 stone and say, look, I used to be 20 stone. You can be in the journey, that's cool, that's authentic. Right, but you have to be fully committed to getting that result. You don't have to be the perfect representation of that result, but you know the God's honest truth is that no one's gonna hire you if they believe that you're worse than them. You have to be a, a couple of chapters ahead of them. All right, maybe just one chapter ahead, but you have to be a chapter ahead. Otherwise, there's no point in paying for your service. All right, so, you know, we have to get the result. We have to live the result. We have to breathe the result. And we have to be truly passionate about that thing. Otherwise, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. All right, so that's standard, right? I'm gonna take that as a, you are, you are passionate about that. And if you need help being more passionate about that thing, then you need to learn more about what it is that, you, you know, your niche, for example, right? Before I got into health, all right, I, I studied health for a good solid year. I looked at all of the processes around health, all right, and I looked and I really had that result before I ever taught anyone else, all right? Before I ever started and helped someone else with their business, I had my own business that was successful, all right? Before I ever started helping someone in a relationship, I'd, I'd healed the relationship with myself and my intimate space so that I could, I could fully congruently own that area. So once you've got the certification, once you've done that, you've committed to that, you've committed to learning, committed to being a great coach, all right, an expert coach, all right, now you test your skills through alpha, beta, all right? The beta version is where you start collecting the data from the alpha version, 
right? You start, you, you, you take this concept of genuinely becoming at one with your client. And I've got a whole module on that in my clients and automation. Now, the, the truth is companies like Blockbuster, co companies like to Toys R Us, they thought they knew better than the market. They thought they knew better than their customers. Where are they today? They're bankrupt, right? Because they're not at one with their client anymore. If you're no longer at one with your client, then you're gonna misunderstand their information. You think they know better. The client, the client is always telling you what they want. And so therefore, serve them what they want. Give them what they want. That allows you to expand your business beyond all recognition. So every stage of your you know, ideally you need a signature program, a signature program which is like your methodology, your new way, your faster way, that's, that's, that you've looked at the market within your niche and you've looked at how you can get disagreement with that because that's how humans work, they disagree with different sorts of information. You've created this new approach, a faster way, a quicker way in which they can get from A to B and an undesired space to a place where they really wanna be Okay, and they're using this methodology, your tools, all right? And so I want you to get from this video, all right? The simple thing, the reason that you can let go of perfection is that you are refining your model, your skills all the time. It never stops. And I think when people start in business, they don't truly get this. They think they're gonna to get to a stage where it's done. It's, you, you have to understand the concept which was created by a, Japan, a J Japanese culture after the Second World War, when they realized, okay, their economy was going down, they, they created this concept called Kanzi Ai, all right, which is actually, you know, which refers to this constant, never-ending improvement model, that nothing is ever finished, nothing is ever perfect, that you can always fine-tune things, that you can always squeeze more out of the orange, all right, and so this concept of constant and never-ending improvement means that you're always fine-tuning your program, your product, your service around your client's needs as you grow better, all right? And that is a game changer. So once you can take that to know it's okay that your first product, your first sort of thing that you're gonna go out and deliver to the world isn't this great thing, that's okay. My first online program sucked and let me tell you straight off, none of them really sold. And even though I was like really passionate about what I was teaching, because I didn't have the structure in place, because I didn't have just a couple of things that really made a difference, hardly anyone bought it to a stage where today we do over 100,000 a year on online products. And so I want you to know there's light at the end of the tunnel. All right, and so that being said, click over here and watch why having a life coaching business is the best business in the world and a little secret that you do not know. All right, click this video, next video, go watch it. Why life coaching is the best sort of business you'll ever own.